All right. As promised, I'm going to work on the last few questions from the assignment from today. All right. Question number five is where I'm starting. You should be able to do the first four. And I told you to try these without notes. So don't use your notes. Do two attempts, no notes. Use your third attempt with notes if you still can't get it. Two attempts, no notes. But looking at number five here. So what are the things that we see? I see that 8.9, 8.9, that means this is a midpoint. That means this is a median. Over here, 4.6, 4.6, that means this is also a median. And if the two medians hit here, that means the third one also would have to hit there. That is a guarantee this is a median. So if I'm guaranteed I have three medians, then what is point G? Point G is the centroid. And GF, where is GF? This distance, okay, so I don't know what they're asking, but GF, um, we talked about this in class, but let's pretend GF is like 9. That means GA would be 18, because GF is half of GA, and the whole thing would be 27. So let's see what our options are. GF is equal to GE. Uh, no, we don't know that. Is half of AF. Um, no, it's a third of AF. Let me make sure I can't see. Yeah. So GF is a third of AF, so no. Half of AG. Ding, 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 ding. That's the one. It is half of AG. Two-thirds of AF. Nope, this is the one that's two-thirds of AF. Next question. Ooh, 8.5, 8.5, 8.5. This is an equilateral triangle. Okay. So we know we're talking about an equilateral triangle. In the triangle above, each side is 8.5, and they tell you DG is congruent to GB. So that means this is a median, and if that's a median, then it's everything. Did you hear me? If it's an equilateral triangle and you know it's one of the special segments, it's all four. That means it's also an altitude. It's also an angle bisector. It's all the things. Then they tell us that DF, where is DF over here, is equal to FA. Uh-oh, also a median. But because it's equilateral, it's everything. It's all the things. What special segment is AG? All. All. It's all four. What point of concurrency is H? All. Well, medians meet at a centroid, but when it's equilateral, all the points line up at that one spot. It's all of those. Okay. Okay. So it's all and all. Question seven, what do we have here? Nine and nine, so it's isosceles. So we know we're talking about an isosceles triangle, and look at what I got. That's an ang that's 60.2, that means that it's an angle bisector. So if it's isosceles and it's an angle bisector, remember, it's, it, is this the vertex angle? Yep, from the vertex angle, it's gotta be everything. So it's perpendicular, it hits the midpoint, it does all the things. So all three of these were, were the properties that involved, actually not that one, sorry. This one and this one involved equilateral and isosceles triangles. Those have very special situations. That one line is an altitude, a median, an angle, it's everything. So if you know it's isosceles and it's one thing, then you know it's all four things. So determine whether it's true or false. Angle CDA is 90 degrees, true. CD equals BD, true. Angle C equals angle B, true. AD equals AB, uh, false. How do I know that? How do I know that? Here's, here's AD, here's AB. That's a right triangle. Isn't this the hypotenuse? Yeah, the hypotenuse is the longest side. So can AD and AB be equal? No, they cannot. All right, there you go. There's the answers. Hopefully you try those before you look at my video.